Hey girls and guys, it's Presley and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about my very first facial and palm reading. So both of these events happened while I was on vacation a couple of weeks ago. And the first thing I'm going to be talking about is my facial. So I was in my hotel with my mom, my grandma, my aunt, and myself. And me, my aunt, and my grandma decided to get like some sort of spa relaxation treatments. And there are a variety of things of spa relaxation treatments. My grandma and my aunt got a body massage while I decided to get a facial. Now their body massage was like an hour and my acne facial was for 30 minutes. So I waited for a little bit to get my facial. And then this lady came by, introduced herself, and then I went into this other room with this like one bed, one like twin bed or something that can like recline and do all this kind of cool stuff. And um, I laid in that bed and this lady came in with all these different like creams and oils and stuff. And she went back and forth between replenishing my face with the creams and oils and then got a hot towel and rubbed it all over my face except my nose. My nose was a bit exposed so I can breathe and it felt so relaxing. Let me just say, it was one of the most relaxing 30 minutes of my life. It felt so good. And I felt my face was like a completely different face. It was brand new, it was shiny, it was amazing. And I felt like she got rid of my blackheads too. My mom seemed to notice that all my blackheads were gone, so. I'd say that that little facial acne treatment did the trick. I give that review a 10 out of 10. That was amazing. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is one of my favorites that happened on vacation. It was a palm reading. So when I went to Arkansas with my with my family, a little girl's trip, I wanted to do like some sort of fortune telling, oracle reading or something because I kind of have an interest for that. I figure why not know about it? My parent, my mom might think it's bullshit, but at least I'll get some insight into what would hold out for me. So what I did was this palm reading. I signed up for it and um, it got introduced to this guy and he asked me what my dominant hand was. He said my, I asked him, my, I told him my dominant hand was right-handed because you know, a lot of, a lot of people are right-handed and lesser or left-handed or ambidextrous, both hands. So I still held up both of my palms towards him and he started to notice some a lot of things. And I tried to do my best to take all the things he said and write them down on some notes. So I may not remember everything that this man said about my, my palms, but I did my best to write down some notes and I have them right next to me. So when he noticed my thumbs, the first thing, the first thing he did was notice my thumbs. And he said the way that they were pointed, he said that I was very stubborn, the way my thumbs were pointed. And I found that very interesting. I can kind of see that in myself. Not, I'm not like super stubborn, but it just depends if I'm stubborn about eating food that I don't like. <laughs> And next thing, he seems to notice that in my palm, he noticed, he, he read my right palm a lot more than my left because I told him I'm dominant in my right hand. So he read my right palm a lot more than my left. He noticed something in what, the lines in my palms because in the palms that he reads, he reads these, all these lines in your palms. Um, I forgot what he said about all three of them. There's like three lines on your palms, the love life and the lifeline. I forgot about the middle one though. And one of the lines, um, some of the lines, he said that I had doubt in myself, which was true. It was true. I doubt myself all the time. I overthink things. And also one thing that caught my attention is that these two lines, you probably can't see them. These two lines that go down from here, they go straight. He said he noticed, when he noticed it, he's never seen anything like it. 
He said um, that my spiritual travel is off the charts. He said that I could master something like astral projection or something like that. Like Dr. Strange, for example. If you don't know what astral projection is, watch Dr. Strange. It's a very good movie. And as soon as he said something about me mastering astral projection to go um, travel with my spiritual energy and stuff, I felt that very interesting. I tried to do astral projection for the past few days and it hasn't worked yet. I've been trying to do meditation, but I'm I still got a lot to learn that but expect, but if I learn how to do it, I think I might be a master at it. And okay, the next thing, he noticed that some of my lines on my hand, he noticed that it's very that I it's very important to me to have connections. He noticed that I need to have a good connection with a good group of friends. And he realizes that some people have fucked me over. And uh, yeah, that's actually happened before. Like some people have fucked me, fucked me over without telling me they fucked me over. And I really do need a deep connection with a lot of people. It's just, I get lonely sometimes. I feel like I feel like whenever I try to talk to people about my interests, I feel like they just don't care. Like they don't give a shit or something. But I don't know. It's just whenever he talked about um, surrounding myself with a um, nice group of people, it reminded me of work since I started work a few months ago. And that really um, got into me in this sort of way, because connections are very important, not just to me, but to any of you who do enjoy having connections to other people. It's very important for anyone to have a connection, whether it's from family, friends, hell, even if you got a boyfriend or girlfriend, it don't matter. Okay, then he started to notice my fingernails when I flipped my palms over. He noticed that my finger, the inside of my fingernails, he didn't detect any negative energy between it. And then when he, when he said that, I was thinking to myself, what is there to detect inside my fingernails? I've bitten down most of them because I have a bad habit of biting my fingernails. It's embarrassing, but, you know, it's a common habit for a lot of people to bite their nails. I don't do it because I'm nervous. I just do it just because I feel like it. Anyway, the last thing I pointed out in my notes. He, I asked him before, before I left the session. I asked him, what about the lines near our wrists? Does that have any meaning? He said, not really, but he did say something that was technically bullshit. He said that the more lines you have underneath your wrists is the longer you have, the, is, your, is your longer lifespan. And yeah, when he did say that, that was pretty bullshit. But the other things he said about my palms lately, I don't believe they're bullshit. Even if some of my family might think it's bullshit, I don't think it is. The th except for the wrist things. But other than that, even if some of my family think it is bullshit, I think it's a very interesting thing to learn about myself with my palms. Mostly my right one. and Because it gives me a better insight of myself and a better knowledge of me my, of myself as a person it felt really interesting to know all these things and for this person to not to notice these things just from the lines of my palm it was very interesting and very it was really good to take in it was very good to take in and it was a very good trip that I had with my family I I it was a it was a trip that I'll remember for quite a while so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.